Okay, bunge oye. Oye. Bunge oye. Oye. Okay, kwa majina mimi ni Mr. Robert Makoha Wangoha kutoka bunge la mwanainji na akuru na mimi ndiye president wa hili bunge. Okay, this morning tuko na issues ambazo zimetupress kama wa Kenya watozwa ushuru. Kenya tunatoa ushuru lakini mambo bado hayaendi vizuri. Kenya kuna ishu ambayo imetusumbua kwa muda mrefu sana. Over three years sasa. The issue is all about the kind of food that we are consuming. Kenya tunalipa ushuru kwa bidhaa mzuri lakini at the end of the day tunakula bidhaa ambazo ziko na chemicals. At the end of the day tunakula bidhaa ambazo ziko contaminated. At the end of the day tunakula what we call counter fake goods. In the year 2018 Kenya kulikuwa na sukari ambayo ilikuwa ni tan 10000 yenye ilishikwa at the KPA Kenya Port Authority at the Mombasa during the clearing process. Hiyo sukari serikali badala ipige watu ambao walileta sukari mbaya Kenya mswada ulipoenda bungeni inasemekana minority leader by then John Mbadi alihakikisha ameangusha hiyo mswada kwa sababu walipewa hongo ya shilingi bilioni moja moja kila mmoja wao na wakenya wakakunywa hiyo sukari ambayo ilikuwa na mercury ali this year the month of march kumekuwa tena na sukari yenye ilikuwa inatradiwa Kenya na ilikuwa na mercury hiyo sukari ilishikwa tena Mombasa ikatolewa Mombasa ikapelekwa zika town kwa go down kwa store ikakaa hapo wakapimia soko then after some time hiyo sukari walichukua wakairudisha kwa market the sugar circulated in the Kenyan market na wa Kenya wakakunywa sukari ambayo ilikuwa na mercury hiyo soko na hiyo habari ilipotelea wakati mswada wa finance bill ulikuwa introduce ulimeza siasa ya sukari chafu na tukakunywa sukari ambayo ilikuwa na mercury tena right now as i'm talking yesterday a total of 10,000 bags of counterfeit rice was again discovered to have been dispersed to the Kenyan market wakati tulikuwa tunapiga kura around mwezi wa 8 mwezi wa 9 2022 last year officials wa KRA na KEBS waliweza kupata mchele wa tan 10,000 na ilikuwa na market value ya 150 million shillings. Lakini unaona hiyo mchele badala au KPA na KRA officials waimwage au watu walichukua hiyo mchele wakaanza kufanya nini? Wakaanza kuisambaza kwa masoko zetu za Kenya. Sasa swali langu ni moja tu. President William Ruto wa Kenya watakula mchele ambayo ni ya plastic for how long? Wa Kenya watakula samaki kutoka China za plastic for how long? Wa Kenya watakula sukari ya mercury for how long? Wa Kenya watakula eh, chakula ambayo imeweka chemicals ya GMO for how long? It is unfortunate that Immediately as the president will assume office ulisema chakula ya GMO iliwe Kenya na Moses Kuri ambaye ni minister wa trade pia akasema akisimama akasema kwamba ati vitu mingi sana zina compete kuua wa Kenya kwa hivyo wakubali wakule chakula ya GMO na kweli mliruhusu mashirika husika yaweze kuleta mbegu wa Kenya wapande so William Samoei Ruto We know that so many things are competing to kill us but don't allow 
genetically modified food don't allow mercury contaminated food don't allow counterfeit rice to penetrate our markets because of the head of Kenyans wewe zamani ulikuwa chakula mzuri ndio maana umebahatisha maisha ukakuwa minister of agriculture minister of education ukakuwa deputy president dp na leo wewe ni rais wacha hata sisi tuko na hiyo ambition tukue chakula mzuri ili kesho pia tukue viongozi wa hii Kenya there is this issue of university funding William Samoei Ruto ulikuja na educational task force ya kuangalia masuala ya masomo katika nje yetu tukufu ya Kenya wale watu ripoti waliharakisha sana sababu waliharakisha na wengine wakahongwa wakatoa ripoti haraka ripoti ambayo saa hizi inakandamiza mzazi ripoti ambayo leo inakandamiza wanafunzi wa Kenya Educational Task Force ilikuja ika recommend kwamba university fees iende wapi juu na wewe wakati huo ulikuwa umewataks wazazi wa wale wanafunzi sasa school fees imeenda juu umeleta ushuru mara mbili kwa mafuta kwa stima kwa bidhaa kwa raw materials why do you expect these parents to fetch money and pay for the fees of their students in Kenya haya ni makosa sana alafu saa hizi tunaambiwa tena kuna 250000 Kenyans ambao wamepewa kazi kwa serikali ambao hawana papers they are quacks crisis is looming in the education sector if, if you can have 250000 civil servants wenye wako wanaongezwa saa hii mshahara na pia hawakuenda shule hayo ni makosa makubwa sana ndio maana pia tunaambiwa a half of our university students pia wao wameingia into drugs kwa sababu wako depressed kwa sababu hawana school fees the new funding model that the president introduced hiyo funding model ni mbaya kwa sababu gani uliondoa university above the private kwa hiyo mpango sasa sasa hivi kuna congestion in public universities some people are also not capable of studying certain courses hizo courses mmeziondoa hizo courses zilikuwa zinaandika lecturers mia mbili na hamsini au lecturers wamepoteza kazi zao sasa wewe William Ruto as you chose a term that you are putting the education sector forward know that you are actually failing a good number of its beneficiaries lipa ma lecturers wabaki kwa kazi yao toa funding ya help kuanzia private universities mpaka public universities make sure ume deal na counterfeit goods penetrating the Kenyan market ndio wa Kenya waweze kufanya nini waweze kuishi na afya mzuri na wacha kuambia watu mambo ya mbolea 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 jana ulikuwa nyandarwa unaambia wa Kenya sijia ati oh mbolea wa Kenya hawakuni mbolea tulikuwa tunanua mbolea toka zamani toa sababu sidi kwa mbolea toa sababu sidi kwa mafuta toa sababu sidi kwa chakula muhimu kama sukari na unga wa Kenya wataweza ku afford maisha kama hapo awali because of your mismanaged hiring because of your corrupt hiring unaandika kazi marafiki ndio maana tunaona shida mingi kwa serikali yetu ongeza walimu shahara ongeza daktari mshahara ongeza askari mshahara wafanye kazi yao wao ndio wameshikilia the largest wage bill in Kenya <coughs> wage bill ya civil servants ndio kubwa sana Kenya hao ndio wao wanaleta kiti inaitwa circulation of money sasa ukikata mishahara yao ukileta bills kama finance and housing levy and NSSF bills na unakata mshahara yao hawataweza ku spend pesa in circulate kwa Kenya ni markets therefore wanaingi pia hawataweza kuuza bidhaa zao na hakutakuwa na mapato kwa mifuko yao mifuko ya hasra 
wacha kuongelea tahasola imedi 43 billion shillings obviously mtu hawezi kopa hawezi kulipa umepandisha kila kitu so we don't want to hear you complaining i don't have much to say asanteni sana majina ni makoha robert kutoka nakuru county thank you